There's much consternation in Washington, Kabul and Islamabad about the combined approach of the Americans, Afghanis and Pakistanis in the so-called war on terror. How best to defeat the common enemy, Taliban, Al-Qaeda and tribal rebels? There's much more to it than just simply facing a fighting force that knows the territory perhaps better than the military. And that's the shared heritage, the common values of the people who live on either side of the very porous border between Afghanistan and Pakistan. They speak the same language, they have the same heritage, the same religion. The land that they've tilled for centuries didn't respect the borders, it simply crossed them. And today, that's still the case. And the people who live in this part of the world, who perhaps have one part of their family in Afghanistan and another part in Pakistan, are saying to themselves, foreigners, the local armies, are trying to rout us out of what we've believed in for so long. And they say, we're not going to let that happen. And that's why so many of the tribal members have joined sides with the Taliban al-Qaeda in fighting the war on terror. And that's something that the Americans, the Pakistanis and the Afghanis are still trying to come to grips with.